Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Roll It Again. Tonight we are doing a gameplay of the Legends of Red Wall campaign. Welcome back, all of our viewers. Uh, before we get started, some few announcements. Um, uh, I do have some interesting news. Um, so I'm going to do some selfish self plugs first and foremost. Um, as of yesterday night, I decided to do something sporadic and I started streaming on Twitch and I did a stream of, um, of my first time ever playing Oblivion, the Elder Scrolls four. Uh, yeah. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm doing it on my computer. So this ought to be interesting. So if you want to come check me out, my um, my thing will be connected into the thing down below. If you'll allow that, Rio. Oh, I'll do yeah. that. And I'll, I'll also put in our discord and everything else later on. As well as um, uh, uh, I also recently joined a very cool um campaign as a player so i'm getting to play for the first time in four freaking ever um so uh on every other friday which is next friday you can come check his twitch out which is kita kamui which i'm going to give the link over to uh rio when this is done so she can connect it yes and um go check him out um you'll be able to hear my um character as victor uh he is a he is a half frost giant barbarian with a russian accent raised by halflings uh so that's gonna be interesting so go check him out um please give him views he's an amazing dungeon master um he puts up with my antics um so basically all of my personality is based on the roll of the dice so any decision i make is based on the roll of the dice so it can get pretty hectic <laughs> Anyway, um, let's see here. Uh, I'll be streaming usually for uh, video games on Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, around 8 p.m. Uh, um, EST. That way you guys know. And yeah, um, <clears throat> but since I will not be doing something else tonight, I will be making a special stream up tonight that you guys can check out as I go through uh, the Cyrodiilic Empire in Oblivion. So let's get to the Legends of Redwall. left our hero with a dream, a vision of the afterlife and the people we have lost in battle. A bittersweet moment. Once awakened from their well-needed slumber, you can kind of tell that they are a bit worse for wear. We got a little bit of history of the hand mouse of chaos from Vince's point of view, which could have ended him, seeing how scary his mother is. Sunflower and Ghost had an encounter that made the shippers go wild, and Opalis had a soft and heartwarming encounter with Looney. Apollos later went to the corpse of Muchikita, only to be gifted with an infant tiger that Bile has presented her with. Lodakar came to Redwall and took Chubi with him, which was a humorous little scene and quite adorable. Bile came back after harvesting Muchikita and gave gifts to everyone. 
the heart of the tiger for Sunflower, the skull of Kilcooney for Apollos, and coats for Vincent Ghost. Now we are here watching Bile eat heartworms like beef jerky. <laughs> Delicious. So wriggly and fresh. <laughs> Still blacked out. Thank you. <laughs> um, so we come back on a scene. Um, let's start with Mr. Ghost. Mr. Ghost. Yeah, I know. You, spent, oh. <laughs> you are currently training the new recruits, and they are looking promising. Congratulations. You're one step closer to being vermin. And not dare. Uh, even though it's lightly snowing, they are panting and they are sweating profusely. Like you can see droplets of sweat coming from their fur. All right. Training's over for today. Now go get a bunch of ah, Now go get some water, maggots. They all scramble for the water uh, for the water um, barrel in the corner, and they are all fighting over it. The biggest one eventually takes over, breaks the ice in in the barrel, and then starts taking big gulps, and then everyone else gets turned. Dark Claw turns to you and like. You know, at first I wasn't so sure about this, but they do look promising. We could always use the numbers. Aye, uh, especially after what that bastard cheese thief did to us. Gull simply shakes his head. Honestly, I'd be tempted to go get my cousins if permitted. Ghost raises his brow. Didn't know you had family. Oh, I, I, I do. I have over 200 cousins. Girls kind of scrunches. How do they all live? How do they all live or where do they live? Like, I was kind of like in the idea of like, you know, if they had that many numbers, technically nature tends to like level them down. But that's kind of ridiculous having that many alive. Oh, let's just say the island that I'm from, um, the laws of marriage are very <coughs> loose. Ding, 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 ding. You mean like polygamy is a thing? That and let's see here. I have a brother, uncle, cousin. Ghost, ghost kind of gags at that idea. <laughs> <laughs> He's his own grandpa. <laughs> yes, I know. But fortunately, the main family, that's the Dark Claw family. We don't participate in such things. But I could go get them. There are a lot of strong warriors in the family. But I would first have to get permission from the boss. That and we can call upon all the different clans that bow the knee to Clooney's power. All the other pirates under Clooney's flag. Yeah, I would talk to the boss about that one too. Hey. I look back at the uh, recruits. <clears throat> They're all in the snow panting up a storm there's steam rising from the snow because they had been like working out so hard <laughs> one of them is face first in the snow currently just swallowing up just got uh, mouthfuls of snow just to cool himself down oh it, it, who's uh, it's uh who, who's next to me again i'm sorry dark claw okay hey dark claw hey you want to make a bet depends on the bet I say they only survive for two weeks for five gold. He grabs his chin, sort of strokes it. I say a week for ten gold. Neil, he reaches out his paw. Ghost grins and shakes it. He grins. <laughs> All right. It's a deal then. All right. Just our Boy, Red Tooth, you're in charge. We need to go see Clooney. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, lazy lumps. Let's get back to work as you start heading towards the walls. All right, pass along the the spotlight. <laughs> uh, <I guess. laughs> oh, of course, of course. Uh, oh, Paulus, you yes are walking along the corridors of Red Wall, and you see what looks to be a crowd of what? Well, you would consider it a crowd, but it's more like. Three, uh, three, um, three women are currently crowded around the doorway of the infirmary, sort of chittering around, uh, uh, 
in hushed tones, whispering about something. Hello, ladies. What's going on? They instantly stop talking. You can see one of them. uh, Two of them are uh, uh, hedgehogs. One of them is um, a one of them is a shrew. Nothing as they walk by. I peek inside the room. You open up the door. You peek up inside the room and um, you see that most of the other injured uh, people are either sleeping or um, either trying to uh, moan away the pain, as it were. The only one not sleeping or moaning in pain is standing up from his his hospital bed, turned away from you, is Clooney. This motherfucker. What are you doing out of bed? He turns over quickly, and you see in his arms is currently cuddled together, is currently a fast asleep peach, and the baby tiger fast asleep in his arms. Help, help. <laughs> and he he looks very calm. <laughs> oh, I'm, a, over, I'm a little dizzy. Give me a second. <laughs> walks over to one of the beds, places Peaches down, covers her up, puts something right beside her, walks over to the crib, places the little cat inside, covers it up, places something inside there. So no fucking way this is the same rat. Huh? No fucking way this is the same rat. Hello, Alice. Are you okay? Why? <clears throat> well, seeing that you were cradling Peach and Snowflake, that's not normally something you do. <sighs> Peach was taking care of me. More like drowning me with those little rags with water on top of my head. She wasn't draining them properly. Then Snowflake wandered over and started taking a nap on top of me. Then Peach started getting drowsy and fell on top of me too. Oh, Opalis is just like standing there with a soft smile. Not completely heartless. Well, it's nice to see that you're getting a bit out of your comfort zone, even if you almost drowned. Yeah. I wouldn't say that so much. He sighs a really big sigh. He's like, now that I've put them back to bed, I'm going back to sleep. Good night, Queenie. Yeah. What time is it? Don't say that. He's not getting a dad bod. <laughs> he, he's just getting the mentality of it. You only know if you start doing dad jokes. Yeah, mind you, during this whole time, he's had a tunic on, so he's not shirtless. He limps back over to his bed, gets back in, goes to the side, and you see what looks to be a cup, a really small cup. And he brings it, drowns it all, and places it back on the thing. And as he places it down, he covers himself up and quickly go to sleep. And you see that Peach has given him her own personal cup with the words peach on it. I'm kind of lightheaded right Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Well, after that whole ordeal. But what time is it? Is it late? It's actually around noon. It's not really that late. It's just he's tired. <laughs> he's been injured heavily. He needs a nap. I'm going to go look for Sunflower, assuming that she's in her room. Yep. You go look for Sunflower. And you knock on the door, no response. You open up the door. She is just unconscious in her bed. I take out my glass. Oh, I'm going to kill whoever fucking did that. Did Give me what? a sec. Someone's calling me. Oh, you're going to see also a giant heart and eyeball in her room. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 And down. Ow. Goes what the f- Fuck. No. Okay. Apparently, someone keeps on giving my number out to who the fuck ever, and this time it was a Spanish-speaking woman. I'm like, I don't speak Spanish, and she was like, sorry, wrong. Number. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> I begin like a singer citizen call saying, 
hey, would you like to go to a retirement home? I'm like, I'm not that old. Yes, yes, I would love to. <laughs> you kept pudding. No, no, I can still wipe my butt. I'm good. Oh, what did I do? So I just uh. saw a ghost scent in the um <laughs> the R20 chat. Um, <laughs> yep. Not not the latest thing he sent. The one said bunny making him soft. Or, <laughs> or horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, both. <laughs> I mean, he does have rock hard abs. Moving on. <laughs> so, uh, do, do I know that she's just taking a nap, or is she? She is. She is currently taking a unconscious nap that was not intended. She just That's fell crazy. unconscious. Shit. Well, I guess this will wait for another time. I just um. I tuck her in, I wrap her up in her blankets, and I make my way out. As you make your way out, um, you you see, um, passing by you, you see a woman run out of the common area where they eat the food. And she just goes into the bathroom and you hear... <laughs> Barfing sounds because we can yeah. barely hear it. I mean, I can hear it. Yep. Is everything okay in here? What's wrong? She just points her finger back at the at, at the kitchens. I, I guess I go in there. You you see, Bile is currently sitting in the middle of this. No one is near him and currently faced away or looking away as he is just eating a, a bucket full of these live white worms in front of the fire. Kyle, sweetie, are you okay? Oh, ah, having some snacks. <laughs> good, but make sure no one sees you eat them, okay? Oh, they're good snacks. Mm, some people here don't really find it that appetizing. One eye blinks and then it opens and the other eye blinks. Um, we don't eat. Where, are those heartworms? I give you a message. Very delicious and nutritious. Okay, well, some people here don't really appreciate it. Oh, got it. They don't. Smell them for later. Then he takes them, rips their heads off, waits until they die down, and then puts them in his pocket. And then just downs the entire heads. Okay, well, you have fun. Warm up, okay? Okay. <laughs> yes, I look for something to do. Looney comes in naked. There's something hey. to do. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Kidding. <laughs> um, ghost. I go to ghost. I go, I go outside and go to ghost. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll switch over to um, Vince. Vince. Hi. You are currently looking in your hospital bed. You are currently looking at your armor and it needs serious help. Only I had to. Sorry, you, you cut out. If only I had tools. Hey, try the back. Go. You know, dearie, you could try one of those market people. Constance mm. comes up to you. I don't really have money is the issue right now. I, but they could do it for trade. See, a lot because of that blizzard, a lot of their stuff was buried. If you volunteer to uncover their stuff and possibly help them defrost a few things, maybe they'll be willing to trade for that. Just saying, dearie. All right. To the shop peoples. Away! Oh, and dearie, before you go, yes? take this with you. Constance hands you an item wrapped in silk. And she's like, don't open it and just give it to the uh, white vixen that you don't, you know. Oh, uh, OK. Thank you, dearie. All right. Onward. <laughs> you walk outside and you see Opalis is currently exiting the double doors of the red wall gates, closes it behind her and you find yourself at the markets where they are currently unburying their stuff from last night's blizzard. You see quite a few of them are currently um, working on on 
big pieces of bone from Muti Kira. All right. Well, first things first, I have a thing for uh, winter, so. You look for her? Yep. She's currently digging some boxes out of the snow. Hey, winter. Got something for, for you from a... Uh, your ear tur- uh, one of her ears turned to you to hear you. She turns her head. You see her her beautiful, beautiful eyes kind of glint and look at you. Oh, I got some from Constance for you. I believe it was Constance, right? Yep, it was Constance. Your name. She grabs it, unfolds it to where she can only see it. She looks up at you. You see the faintest hint of smile as you blink. She's abruptly like inches away with her own body and she kind of strokes you under the chin she's like i'm so sure that it was from constance looks confused and she kisses you (laughs) by grabbing your tunic and pulling you towards her and you just hear a (laughs) from a group of divins And then she saunters off back to what she was doing. <laughs> Basically, brain right now. You you see you see the items that she placed down on one of the carts and opened it. Uh, is as you can see, she it's two very beautiful um, earrings. Uh, looks like ruby insets from her picture and it's said and there's a note inside saying for you my beautiful vixen from vince Uh, (laughs) 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 yeah constance was helping you play matchmaker (laughs) by the way uh for anyone who uh, for all of the NPCs outside of your vision, they can see you're 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 normally a, like an orange and I'm a lot more red. Yeah, you you have a clear tinge of red to you now. Well, I now go find somebody to I, I'm like, OK, OK, uh, your okay. ears are I'm... completely flushed with red, by the way. <laughs> I go find the per- a person to dig for and I'm like, I need to I need Smith tools. I- uh, Are you okay? <laughs> I just struck by love. <laughs> oh, I can. I saw that. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay. Well, um, do you have anything to? Uh, do you have gold, or do you want to trade? Uh, trade. If you're willing, I'm willing to work for it. Okay. She claps her hands together. Then I need you to help me with this issue. And she uh, she looks to her left. And you see that her items are all over the place. You see like a miniature crater in the shape of a paw print that smashed her boxes. Can you gather up all the stuff for me, please? And then put them in this box. She points to her right. Got it. And And we'll see about repairing your precious armor. All right. Uh, just, that would be the father. He didn't really mean to, but he's a big cat. Yeah. And it's like, oh, it's just a box. It's fine. Yeah. He is gargantuan size. So if he, he if he breaks something, it's not he's doing it on purpose. It's more like, oops. <laughs> so um, I'm rooting around digging, finding stuff. Yes. Uh, so can I get an investigation check, please? All right, then. All right. Let's go zooted power. Let's do this. I'm going to roll 20. Oh, please. Oh, 20 wait. Forever. Thank you. Yeah. Man. Oh, this gravy. All right. Investigation. Here we go. Um, you're really having trouble trying to find all of the items because your mind keeps on wandering back to that kiss. I like that moment of shock for Simba when Nala gives him the bedroom eyes. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My brain is distracted. I was smooth. So fucking lootly. You're, you're like. Ah, 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 ah. And while normally these merchants would be pissed with you and ask you to go somewhere else, I think they're more amused right now than anything. 
it's going to take you it take it's going to take you at least two hours to get all the items because you're so distracted. Again, my character's already glowing like red. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh goodness. Um, sunflower. Yep. You wake up finally, <sighs> and you are nice and tucked up. You're nice and warm in your covers. You don't remember ever covering yourself up or going to sleep. <laughs> no, but her eyes automatically hit to the heart and eyeballs. <laughs> and then scrunch up her face. Uh, eyeballs half the size of me and the heart is bigger than me. You hear a knock on your door. Uh, yes. Sweetheart, are you okay? Unless you want to faint, I wouldn't come in here. Why is that? Oh my god! <sighs> I warned you. I I'm a bathroom's right next door. No, no, I'll be fine. I've seen worse. Um What? So nothing. Anyway. In sight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. I need to roll for her deception. Uh uh, you can uh, she's she's clearly lying through her teeth. She, she's not saying something. <laughs> Mom? Remember yes. Vince told you by your mom. You're not yes. very good at lying. Well, yes, you're my daughter, so of course you can see through my lies. So, why the heart and eyeballs? Apparently it's a gift from someone who wants me oh. to make alchemy from Ah. <sighs> but it's so... Gross. Good. Yeah. Um, if you want... I don't think any of the mouse books have anything about this stuff. Hmm. Most of it's plants, mushrooms, and nothing for... She snaps her bodies. finger. She snaps her finger. You know what? I'll call a good friend of mine. I'm going to wheel these things out of your room, okay? First, I'm going to need to cover these up. Yeah. Because I don't want anyone to lose their lunch. I'm going to have someone break these down for you into some more um, appropriate alchemical ingredients where you don't faint. Is that okay with you, sweetie? Yeah. I don't know what to use them for. I said I don't have anything. I I know someone, but unfortunately, sweetie, you wouldn't want to meet them. Well, right now I got a lot of dates on my counter and think about heading down south for a little bit. Ah, okay. Well, as she covers all the items up, your queasiness is starting to settle as, you know, it's no longer visible. Yeah. She's like, well, as she curts them out of the room, she's like, well, it's time for me to call in a huge favor from my old friend, Captain Snow, as she closes the door. What? What did you say, Bob? He already closed the door. (laughs) Oh, oh, Chase there. (laughs) She said you wouldn't want to meet him. (laughs) Yeah, but she technically doesn't know about the flowers fear of birds. Uh, well, she's your mother. <laughs> yeah, well, she, would she know never about told your fear anyone about her fear of birds except for her brother. <laughs> oh, yeah? And your brother is such a great keeper of secrets all I your life. He's awful at it, but come on. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not imagine one time when Vince is being punished for something that he did wrong? And she was like, tell me everything. One time? <laughs> Sunflowers never find the birds. <laughs> Mother intimidation plus twenty. <laughs> <laughs> she gets it from her mother. <laughs> now she gets it from being the hen mouse of chaos. <laughs> which she still doesn't know. Yeah, which you I, I still don't you. know. No. No, I told her. I told her. It's like, by the way, apparently her mom's some some called the hen yeah, mouse of chaos, which she doesn't understand. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Yours. Oh, goodness. Uh, Heavens to Betsy. Clean um, up, freshen up her room. Yep. And then she's probably good to go downstairs to see if she can't spot anybody. Okay. You clean up. You go downstairs. And by this time, the cafeteria has definitely returned to normal. Of course, you didn't know otherwise. And you see people like starting to eat and everything. The food smells amazing and you smell in the air something that i love 
very dearly. Garlic. And you see Fa- uh, Friar Hugo come out with a with a cart and you see a bowl of the most you smell the butter and the garlic coming off of it as you see a bowl of the most buttery mashed potatoes you've ever seen right next to it you see a gigantic pot with the intense smell of cheese and broccoli coming off of it. Oh, hello, Sunflower. Uh, hello. Would you like a bowl? Oh, yes, just a small one for me. Very well. Pours you a a small bowl for you, hands it over. It's broccoli and cheddar soup with a little sprinkle of green onion on top, just to give it that little extra taste to it as a garnish. Thank you. Of course. And it'll help you keep warm. (laughs) I added a little kick to it. As you take a spoonful and you taste it for the first time, he did indeed add a little kick to it. As he added um, just a dash of red pepper. Yeah, I figured. Oh, yep, he sure did. (laughs) No, it's just a dash. You can barely taste it, but it does warm you up. Yeah. A little might be too much for some people. I can tell you that. (laughs) He hands over a mug. He's like, just in case it's too hot for you. Thank you. And it is spiced apple cider. Steaming hot, just a little bit frothy. And you can smell the intensity of cinnamon in it. Out of character, you in character. Sounds okay. Dash of cinnamon with apple cider? That goes with it perfectly. I can't do apple cider. You can't do apple cider? Why? I just don't like cinnamon apple cider or apple oh. cider, period. <laughs> oh, that's hot drinks interesting. Don't go well with me unless it's hot cocoa. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Personal taste. Uh, but my character? Sure. <laughs> okay. While you are enjoying your, your food... Opalus, you meet up with Ghost and Darkclaw on their way into Redwall Abbey. It's your sign to start acting. So knowing Ghost, he won't exactly interact with her. He'll just keep moving on, thinking that she has something to do. Is is she around? That's the question I ask. I'm repeating myself. DQ, I'm I'm echoing through you. There you go. Uh, oh. I think she's restarting her Discord. Give her a yep. moment. Hi. 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 Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, yeah sorry. Uh, I was eating lunch. Ah, okay. Got it. So, so Ghost cool. passes by you. So go ahead and do your ting. Hey, Ghost. What are you doing? Ghost turns around, looks at her, and just says, uh, well, just finished training the maggots. You're training maggots? I won't oh. call them vermin until they finish their training. So what you going to do now? You can see Opalus is kind of antsy. I was about to go take a bite to eat, but it's okay, as if you're a bit troubled. Not really. I just kind of need something to do. Oh, and that's the case. Maybe you should go warm the boss's bed. I'm sure <laughs> you, you can see a shadow form on her face. <laughs> and she's going to glare at you. Bill simply and just raises his paws lower. and just like, I mean, you won't know. Maybe you'll have a good time. For the sake of you, I sure hope that you were joking. Is this Apollos talking to me or is this? Yes. Okay. Ah, it was just a suggestion, girl. Goodness. There we go. Well, I might as well eat with you guys. Uh, I haven't talked to Vince yet. Oh, uh, yeah, the fox. Yeah, I haven't seen him around. <laughs> you, you enter through the gates and Vince, who is practically, he's... All bald on top of his head, poor, poor, poor foxy boy, is currently beat red while searching through the snow for discarded like fruits and vegetables with his head in the clouds. Uh, I think that's him right now. You go get some to eat. I'll talk to you later. Basically, you see me like every now and then pick something up, then to stop for a second. And you just see a smile come on my face. Then I, then I okay? shake. Like, uh, I'm I'm fine. I just uh, got I got smooch. Oh, that's Vince, good. Vince right? is very open, surprisingly. Uh, yeah. Do you need yeah. help? Looks like you've been at this for a while. Yeah, I'm fine. 
Are you sure? Uh, I look at the like his brain one is running the stand. See the people. The lady, the lady uh, looks at you and mouths the word, "Please help him." <laughs> I nod. Hey, um, four hands are better than two. Let me help you. Oh, uh, okay. Want me to roll anything? You want me to roll anything? Sorry, investigation. Shit. <laughs> Oh, that's not bad. Uh, you are definitely going a lot faster than he was because you're actually focused on trying to get your mind off of things. Well, me, I rather, you know, I like to stay in that moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, with with your thoughts, um, uh, Opalis, uh, you notice as you guys get closer and closer to finishing, you notice that um, uh, Christopher is currently um doing something uh he looks like he is prepping something underneath a giant uh cloth i just you see him like look both ways and then go underneath <laughs> um how 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 much progress have we made um about 10 more minutes and he would be finished and I'd say, like, within 10 minutes, you're all done. Vince is, like, uh, for a moment or two, he tries to grab for something, notices it's not there, and just stands up. With the goofiest yeah. okay. with a smile, mm. then going right again. <laughs> <laughs> so Paulus lasted this long? What, with the dumb grin? Sorry? How long? Okay, when Opalus is, like, starstruck and shit with whatever Clooney does, has she lasted this long? Um, you mean remembering stuff? No, no, like just the stupid grin and being absent. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Paul's just gonna like tap him a couple times to get him out of that. It's like, hey, hey, focus, focus. <laughs> what? Focus. I did part of your job for you. You owe me. Oh, uh, sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna go check on a friend. Okay. And you said he went underneath a cloth? So yeah. Like it's, uh, it's kind of like a makeshift tent um it's right near one of the walls <clears throat> sort of one of those things where inventors have like a cloth over one of their inventions and they like go underneath to like make a few last adjustments kind of like one of that yeah i am um, <clears throat> i step next to it and i just call out oh. <clears throat> um clovis no no fucking clovis hold on uh, wow um, no shut up shut up okay i was reading something um christopher Oh, hello. How are you, dear Opalus? And you see his fur is blackened on his face. Should I be concerned with what's underneath the tart? Why should you be? Are you okay? <laughs> he looks at is you. Is everyone here just absent-minded or, no, or no, acting no, way out of their original uh, character? No, no, Opalus. Um, as you you say this, a memory starts to come into your mind from when you first met and dealt with Christopher. Um, you start to remember that during the six months that you spent with Clooney's family, you learned very quickly that Christopher has a tell when he's obviously trying to hide something. And whenever he's trying to hide something, he has a crooked smile that always is on the left side of his face. And his right hand is always opening and closing, like clenching his fist. And right now he's doing that like crazy. Christopher, I know you. <sighs> Fine. All right, love. Uh, I got a little plan for the springtime. I'm hoping to get on the good side of that pretty little friend of yours, the mouse girl. Sunflower? Yes, that one. I was hoping I could make her job a lot easier and not kill everything within the forest with, you know, fire and, you know, things. So I started coming up with this. And he lifts up the thing and leads you underneath. And you see there is what looks to be um, you've seen this happen several times before, um, possibly in books. Uh, whenever there is a storm, 
near the beach. Sometimes lightning will strike and make glass out of the sand. <clears throat> and you see he's gathered a lot of this glass and it's very uneven. It's very shard based. And he has what looks to be a a open lantern in the middle of it. He was like, so what I was thinking is we light the lantern in one specific place in the middle of the forest and have it shine all over the place and have all the spiders gather into one place and get rid of them like that. An open place where none of the trees or animals can be harmed except for the spiders. You follow me? Why is he Australian? <laughs> because it went from British to Australian and I don't fucking know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I understand. Sometimes my voices do that, okay? Whoever's watching out there, it just does that sometimes, okay? Apparently he's Australian now. <laughs> We haven't really had time to talk, especially after... I know, Cody. Poor bugger. But at least he's... He's resting peacefully. Yeah. Well, at least I hope he's in a good place. Do I I'm tell not... him? That's up to your character and your character alone. Well, I did have a vision. I'm going to roll something really quickly. I was going to say, do you really want to sound like the crazy bunny right now? I... My Opalis can already fluctuate her voices. I, I doubt that her saying she has a vision is going to change anything. Uh. His eyes just go wide for like two seconds and then return to normal. What sort of vision? It, it, was, it felt like a dream, but it also felt real. I saw everyone in the afterlife. Odie, Clooney's man that has fallen. Yeah. Did you fucking see that piece of shit? Cheese thief and kill Cooney too. Oh yeah, I saw shadows stabbing them. Shadows, like yeah. the spy shadow. N is Shadow dead? Like she starts mocking his accent at this point. Oh, well, you don't have to be so rude about it. Sorry, I'm just I need I'm under a lot of lot of stress and I need to get my mind off of stuff. Understandable. Okay, so literal shadows were stabbing them over. Honestly, that's too good for them. Yeah. I would personally I vote for a bonfire over a piranha pool while being picked at by giant eagle, but that's just me. Yeah. From the shadow guy. What I mean, like, of? it was kind of funny if you saw what Kill Penny was going through because due to the fact that I chopped off his hands and his feet and his tongue, he couldn't really go anywhere. He couldn't run away from them. So he's just like sitting there. So even the afterlife, he couldn't fucking move. That's brilliant. He starts laughing. Uh, Cody got his limbs back though. Wait, so Cody was in a good, good place? Yeah, why wouldn't he be? I'm just surprised. Like after you, after we uh, sent you off, he did some pretty horrible things. We all did. We all followed. Coon Clooney's order in order to protect our friend Opalus is feeling a lot of guilt right now <laughs> Clooney became a pirate I became the businessman and well Cody <laughs> Cody was the leader of an assassination guild he would have he would have been the odd one out well we wanted to absolutely annihilate a certain organization that dared try to hurt our friend. Um, I have a request. I I don't remember everything that has happened. Aye. And well, I've been hearing stories about what's happened since then, but they don't really add up. Since you want to hear the entire story. Yes, please. Here's like, all right, but not near the device. Otherwise, people might find out that I'm actually doing something nice for once. He guides you to a gazebo that is abandoned because it's the middle of winter. There's no flowers around it. So people don't usually go around here. <clears throat> he sits you down. All right. First and foremost, I will only tell you the parts that I'm familiar with from the point that we found you. 
It was raining that day, and... <coughs> well... Ah, <coughs> uh, sorry. Came out of nowhere. Whew. You okay? Ah, yeah. Sometimes my throat closes over involuntarily. It's weird. Um... <coughs> So, um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, it was raining that day, and <laughs> that would be an interesting twist. It was raining that day, and me and my brothers, we were out fishing, and we were casting out our nets, trying to get our family some much-needed grub for that day. Our family didn't have much in the sense of things despite being part of the noble family, because the actual king actually gave birth, finally, and so we were thrown out because we were bastards, as it were. We were out fishing, and we saw a black fox, drunk, noble clothing. He was starting to cut something, and we saw him cut open a some ropes we found you and a corpse beside you the corpse was a a a ferret the ferret was a notorious kidnapper of little bunny girls ironically that ferret was coney Ju senior joe coney's father the fox wanted to eat you while you were still unconscious on the shore. He was holding you up by the leg and was opening his jaws to cover your neck when my brother Clovis sprung into action. Without a second thought, he launched himself onto the giant fox and slit his throat. He leapt down, caught you and brung you to the house. When you finally woke up, we had to spend time making sure you were actually, well, coherent, as it were. We learned that you were Opolis. You didn't have any memory of who you were. We only knew that you were kidnapped, and we did not want it to reveal it to you to not trigger any PTSD. That will tell you that you were attacked by a fox before you were even conscious. Kaluni spent by far the most time with you. During your time with us, I've never seen Clooney so attached to anyone. Not even our mother, which is saying something. Our mother, then, about one year after we met you, she vanished. She was with child, and we never saw her again. I have puzzle pieces that are putting themselves together, and I'm not <laughs> sure if it's a puzzle to put together. At the moment. Then, after about after about five five years, we finally had the funds to put you on a boat to the mainland, where we were going to send you. But then, the father of that black fox came along. He was the king of our land, and we killed a prince. So he wanted you dead for being part of his son's demise so kill Cooney, not kill Cooney, Clooney bleh. what the fuck am I on about Clooney and I and Cody defended you until you were able to sail away we managed to have the guards run Cody lost his leg his eye part of his arm and Clooney lost his eye to that son of his before you were even conscious all we remember is that while watching you go away we saw a storm come up and that's the last we saw of you we thought you were dead Looney, in order to protect your potential corpse became a pirate in order to salvage what was left and give you a proper burial i became a businessman in order to support his adventures as a pirate and potentially give him enough gold so that we could give you a gilded mausoleum. Cody became an assassin so we could take care of the royal family once and for all. And we did, eventually. That's why we're here now. The royals are dead. Guys, we're the only I'm royals left. What? I fucked up. 
<laughs> I'm the reason Clint became a pirate. <laughs> The reason why he came so terrible at all those rumors and everything is all because of you, Apollos. <laughs> I'm also apparently related they to Clint. It all for a friend. Shit, I knew friendship was magic, but this is taking it to a whole nother fucking level. <laughs> friendship is revenge. Why? Although, truth be told, your friend, the fox, he's the spitting image of our mother. So you got a half brother, maybe? Half brother. Maybe. Cool. No, it could be just a random fox, to be honest. Maybe. Wait, wait. Oh, is that why she saved me? Saved who? Vince's mom. Is that why she saved me from Kill Cooney? I don't think Vince, our mom, knows about you and Kill Cooney. No, no, Vince's birth mom. She, she left Vince on our doorstep and kept running as she was being attacked still. Yep, because she decided to attack them first. But you guys don't know that. <laughs> Technically, I think I had the vision. Oh. Kind of. Well, some oh, far won't know that. Man. Vince doesn't know this. Only Apollos is getting this information. <laughs> you guys can theorize all you want, but your characters don't know shit. I got the blurry version of that story. <laughs> yeah, you got the very blurry. I got the crystal clean. At least and yeah. she gets the story. Yeah. At least you guys get visions of this shit. I have to piece this shit together verbally. No. Yep. Sunflower keeps it to herself because she thinks she's going crazy with all this stuff in her head. Yep. And on top of it, Sunflower may have seen a crystal clear picture of what happened when she left Vince on the doorstep, but she did not see what caused her to be chased by these people. No, but she knew she ran. Yep. As he gets done talking. And that's the last time we saw you. One, one second. She, she turns away. She walks out of the tarp way and she just like vomits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're in a gazebo. He can see you do that. <laughs> yeah, but I just make sure I'm not, you know, near the thing. I just go to a clear fucking area and yeah. just vomit in the grass. You need any help with your contraption? Because now I have more things on my mind that I don't need. Oh, I know a guaranteed way for you to get th things off your mind if you're willing to hear me out. Sure. He holds up a paw as if to say, wait for a second. He reaches into his coat pocket and he pulls out a flask Alcohol. and offers it to you. <laughs> He's like, try it, love. I, I, I take a sip. Oh, have you ever heard of 90 proof alcohol? No. I heard yeah. it burns. It is literally almost pure alcohol. Like it is strong shit. It burns. I'm like, damn, moonshine. Like this, here's a, this is our island specialty. It is known as, well, ironically, it's known as Volcano Grog. Uh. And it is burning down your throat. And like one sip, your mind is instantly forgetting all those things that are stressing you out. You're starting to mellow out as since the secondary ingredient is also oil from a plant called hemp. Again, hey, okay. hemp. So not only are you getting drunk off this, you're getting high off of this. Opalis's voice lowers and she doesn't know what she's doing. But it's like, if you say it worked, then it worked. And she takes another swig. Oh, a swig? Give me a constitution saving throw. Exactly. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got out. <laughs> oh, I had a nat one, my dude. Oh, oh my gosh, there's, there's actually out. a vodka with hemp in it. I was looking up Which some is stuff. why yeah. I did this. Okay, constitution <laughs> saving throw. 15. You needed a 17 to pass. This is pretty powerful shit. Yeah. So you're... You... Take one big swig, and you are drunk and high. Did I tell you that it's like oh, okay. she, she 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 just like makes her way to one of the four Christopher she sees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the description of this drink. It says it does a it eases stress and promotes um steady um steadier moods. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. I think this 
is fucking sexy. You're currently talking to a pillar, but you don't know that. You think you're talking to the Christopher. <laughs> What's sexy? Yes. It doesn't answer my question. My dear, are you drunk? I don't. Uh, which one of which, which one of you asked that? Just pointed to one of the four closest. Did you ask that? He grinned. All of us. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where's Clooney? I gotta give him a kiss. I, I gotta tell him how much he means to me. I don't wanna oh, lose him. I already lost Christopher. You stagger off. I already, already lost Cody. I don't wanna lose you or or, or Clooney. You stagger off with the freaking cl- flask in hand because you never said you gave it back. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. I, I, I close that flask and I put it in my in, in my dress, in my lady pocket. You now have a flask of volcano grog. <laughs> Yuck. It applies slowness to you. So because you are drunk and high, you will have disadvantage on deception rolls, constitution checks. You will now have disadvantage in resisting trying to eat anything that appeals to your nose. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> she's at, she's like looking for someone to help her get to uh, the, is it the infirmary that yeah. he's in? Yeah. <laughs> I, I need help going to the infirmary. I'm, I'm blind. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm amazing. Can you help me get to the infirmary? I gotta, I gotta tell Clooney something. I gotta tell him how much I love him. <laughs> Everyone hears this, and you don't give a shit. <laughs> Is she in my range yet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you don't care. I'll go up to her. Some flower, some flower, some flower. I, I gotta tell you something. The reason why I change my pitch of voice is to make other people think I'm adorable. Cat. How you many of- fingers am I holding up? Huh? How many fingers am I holding up? What channel are you using? Why do you have five hands? Okay. There's <laughs> <laughs> four, no, five, no, four, wait, three, what? Twenty-seven. <laughs> have you ate or drank something you're not supposed to do? Yes. Okay, you need to go rest. Come with me. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the infirmary. I need. I need to tell Clooney something. I. I need to tell him something. You can tell him after you get some rest. No, I want to tell him now. Hello, love. As a, a sunflower, you bump into Christopher. He stopped. Who had Looks followed you? Did you do this? I don't know what you're talking about. Insight. You're lying. <laughs> you're 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 grinning from your left cheek and you're opening and closing your right hand. That's her fucking tell. Because she is strong. She, you will have a, a advantage. I don't need advantage. <laughs> no, I got do it 25. anyway. Do it anyways. I want to see if you get a crit. Okay. No. 25. Okay, I was I was just genuinely curious. 25. You know that he is lying through his teeth. Even without her saying anything in her state, you can't lie to me. What? I don't know what you're talking I about, don't love. Like lying. She just smiles. All right, fine, fine, fine. I did it. I wanted to get her mind off of things. And one sheer far away is Volcano Grog. She needed less stress. You're so I offered some Volcano Grog. So she remembers that she's goofy off like that. And don't leave oh, that. I'm holding still. on to your handle polish. You're not giving away that. You can just see her to, to like slip out the, the flask from her lady pocket. No. Open it up. No. Take another sip. Close it and put it back no. in. Give me another constitution <laughs> saving throw with disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. You get that here. Devin, oh, oh, you were shit face drunk. Oh. You were shit face drunk. Why is the world spinning? <laughs> I am taking okay. the flask away from her. No, 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 it's mine. It's in my lady pocket. Give me competing strength checks. Oh, dear. And, and Oposi will have advantage because you have the power of alcohol on your side. Uh, you do it a lot. Dang yes, it. you did. Oh, shit. Uh, 21 compared to 11. (laughs) Why are you... (sighs) Sorry, I just want to talk to Clooney. uh, By this time, 
<laughs> I can't sing. Okay, that's enough. She picks up Opalis, takes charge, <laughs> and carries sure you. She doesn't drink any more of that. Why? Constance, you look so pretty. I know, dearie. I know. It's okay. You'll be fine. Constance, 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 Constance. Like she gets, she gets like really close. It's like, uh, I need, I need to talk to Clooney. Oh, I know, dearie. And uh, by, uh, like by the time you finish that sentence, you're in a bed next to Clooney's, and he's looking at you sitting up, and he's like, "What <laughs> is going on here?" <laughs> hey, Clooney. Hey, hey, what do you have for him? I want to kiss him. <laughs> can I get a perception check? Since you're seeing four of his heads, can I get advantage on that? <laughs> I was going to say disadvantage. Come on. <laughs> There's four heads. Yeah. It's but more obvious. Did I do it? Yes. Doesn't matter. Um, wow. You can't really tell. It's blurry. <clears throat> but you know that. Oh, uh, 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 you know that he's there. That's for sure. <laughs> I need, I need to tell you, uh, yeah, but I need to tell you I love you. I love you this much. You were, you were always there for me when I needed it, and I love you. You hear a squeal of girly happiness in the corner. <laughs> she, she just, like, flops onto her belly. It's like, will you make me the happiest rabbit, the happiest rabbit ever, and be my bride? <laughs> <laughs> Drunk Apollos, no fear. Drunk courage for you. So, since you don't have a great perception check, I'm going to leave it at that for now. And Vince? Yeah. What about ghosts? We skipped over him a couple times. Yeah, that's true. And ghosts. I'm getting to both of them at the same time. You both see that your armors are being worked on. Hey. And you, you see that your particular armor ghost. The man looks, uh, the um, mouse looks up here and say, do you have another set of armor? I should be wearing it. Good, because this is not salvageable. Uh, I assume it's much. I'm sorry, laddie. But if you, uh, if you can sell this to me, I can get you something in return. How much are we talking? Well, are we talking gold or trade? Let me hear what you have to trade. If I'm not satisfied with it, I'll ask it from gold. For trade, this quality, um, I can promise you. He thinks about it for a second and goes to his items. Here's like, I can promise you this particular item that I won in a bet against the sparrow with. Goes, and he pulls uh, out a small -ish shield, but. It looks decently sized for him with a giant letter M on it. But it's like really small size for me, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, th th this is a this is a mouse, right? I'm talking to or is this? Is this? Uh, he, he's a door mouse, so a lot smaller than a regular okay. mouse. Are you being serious right now, mouse? You know how valuable this thing is. I'm being dead serious. This is, this is none no other than me. Martin the Warrior's shield. The Martin the Warrior. Ghost scrunches up and looks at the uh, shield a little more closely. Can I like investigate or maybe sure. put Absolutely. some into it, whether or not he's telling the truth? Eggs. Sure, sure. Insight? Absolutely. Yep. For investigation. Insight. Which one? Uh, insight okay. and investigation. I guess insight first and investigation second. Um. As far as you know, he is telling the truth. You don't know much about mouse culture, so you don't really know who this Martin the Warrior is, but you do know this is a very high quality shield. It's made out of silver. It is very tough. All right. So Ghost simply kind of growls a bit and just says, all right, mouse, I'll take it. Or and I swear if you're trying to thing. OK. He puts up two other things. All right. So we got the shield. We got this option and you can only choose one of these. One, you can have this particular lovely weapon. He puts on a thing and you see a symbol of two rabbit ears at the bottom of a rapier. 
He was like, this particular rapier was owned by a member of the Long Patrol. <laughs> and this, and he pulls up a mace that it looks like it was made in the underworld. It's so spiky. Was wielded by none other than the hand mouse of chaos. <laughs> Vince, you were seeing all this. <laughs> huh. You just hear a huh from Vince. <laughs> Uh, Ghost begins to inspect the two items. Can you really, like, determine like, the difference values between what was originally the shield and these two items? Uh, you do know that uh, the rape here is a fine set of iron. It's very sharp. Um, you barely like touch the tip of it. It draws blood. It is insanely sharp. The mace, you pick it up and... Can I get uh, another investigation check, please? Investigation. Ah. Man, my rolls are low. <laughs> yeah. Although uh, you're do you are noticing something odd about the mace. It is solid black. Ah, I see you notice something. This particular piece of BE is made by obsidian volcanic rock, and it Ooh. feels warm to the touch. What? I was going to say, and you had a weapon like this just sitting around in your storage. Well, truth be told, your 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 armor, despite its state, can be melted down into at least 50 more weapons for our military. So it's worth this being pulled out of storage. All right. How about this little mouse? I like the shield and the mace is pretty nice, too. How about you give me both and I will give you not only the scrap of armor that I had, but two snake scales. What use do I have snake scales? Can I get like the description of those snake scales again? They were supposed to be like extremely tough and stuff like that. Yeah. But Are you talking about Asmodeus's? Yeah. They can't Pe use it. White. So you're wanting to trade Asmodeus's. We may not be able to work on it, but... I know someone who can. You got yourself a deal. Uh, I lean over to give him the good handshake and I take the mace and the shield and I tell him to come with me so that he can come to my room to collect the uh, snake scales. No, you will collect your stuff when you get the snake scales and bring it back to me. All right, Otherwise, bugger off. I like the cut of your jib. All right, mouse. Just make sure it's nice and shiny when I get back. Oh, it will be. I turn around to leave to my room to collect the two snake scales. Okay. So how about my how about my uh, armor? Is it repairable? Oh, I I it is repairable. Luckily, I see that giant thing didn't hit you nearly as much as that poor lad. Luckily, he's yeah. still alive. I mostly got hit with fire. <laughs> I can see that. So here's what's going to happen. In order for me to repair this, you need to do something for me. Oh, uh, all right. What you need? Well, for trade, for repairs such as this, they're very medium. I will need a hot meal from your kitchens delivered to me. Oh, all right. A humongous okay. glass of ale, specifically. I don't care what else I have to eat. Just huge glass of ale. I need my ale. So, like, what you talking? A big stein or do you want, like, you know, just a huge cup? I want one so big that I can not lift it with my own power. I need to dunk my head into it. So you need a barrel. Gotcha. <laughs> you leave my volcano juice alone. <laughs> You're calling it juice? <laughs> I, I just, Mama needs a juice. <laughs> what? Vince goes, all right, I'll go get that. All right, thank you. Hope you're working on it in the meantime. All right. And that's where we're going to end tonight's session because it's eight. GG, guys. GG.